Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation. This presentation is all about driving user adoption. The key here is we want to minimize training and maximize productivity. Now, the most important question you're asking right now is why should you watch this video? Well, here are a couple of key questions that will help you get to the answer. Do your users work in MS Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, as well as Adobe Acrobat? Do documents needed for review arrive in MS Outlook, email if you will? Do you need to provide a secure repository to your users? Do your users need version control as well as an audit history? Is it important to provide your users the ability to search for their documents based on more than just a document name? Do your users really like learning new interfaces? Is it important to have the solution blend into how they work today? Yes, it probably does make sense for you to watch the video. So let's get started. In this presentation, we're going to go through the process of editing a document that came in via email, as well as look at other documents in order to help us edit and review this document and then get this back out to our external concern in this case our man Bob now in this entire process we're going to stay within the office applications but by the same token ensure that we're saving everything into our enterprise class repository alfresco so let's take a look at our email here we've got an email from our man Bob it looks like a change order and we want to save this into the repository so I'm going to go searching here using my Outlook plugin and this happens to be for the snow support project so I'll type in snow support and I'll click search and here is our folder right here so I'm gonna open this up and I'll simply drag and drop this entire email right into that correspondence folder now I've got it in here which is great let's take a look at this document see what we've got now I've got it open up here in Word what I'm gonna do is save it some people don't save immediately I'm the kinda of guy that does so we'll hit file We'll hit save to Alfresco. And this, is, of course, is our snow support project. So all I do is type in snow support, and here's our folder. And this, of course, is my working documents piece. I want to keep it open because I'm going to be working on it for a little bit. So I just hit save. Now I've saved that document, and let's go through that process of reviewing it. Looks pretty good. It's got some stuff in here. All right. You know what, though? I want to take a look at the project budget spreadsheet. It'll help me make sure I'm doing the right thing here with this particular change order. I'm still in Word, of course, but I'm going to hit File, Open from Alfresco. Remember our famous snow support project. All right. Now let's take a look at some of the supporting documents. In this case, the project budget. Notice this is an Excel spreadsheet. Of course, I'm sitting in Word, but I just select it and I hit Open. And of course, it automatically opens up Excel, fires up the document, and allows me to see the document that we're dealing with. Here's my budget spreadsheet. Taking a look here. Looks pretty good. And I'm saying to myself, you know, it's probably important to take a look at the MSA as well, just to make sure we're good to go regarding any terms and conditions. So let's take a look. We'll do File, Open from Alfresco. Again, our famous Snow Support Project. All right, I'm going to make this a little wider for us so we can see everything. And in this instance, I'm looking at executed documents because this is the PDF. Because again, I want to look at the MSA to look at some terms and conditions. So I'll click on that and I'll hit open. And even though I'm in Excel, I can open a PDF document. And here's my terms and conditions. We'll take a look at this and make sure there's no issues. And then from here, we're happy, we're good. Let's close this out. We'll hit exit. Now in this case, we're not making any change to this PDF, so I'll hit no. No need to keep it locked, no need to change anything. Done with the Excel spreadsheet, looks like we're good to go there. So we'll do File, and we'll do Exit. Same thing, no changes. Wanted to take a look at it, make sure everything was good. Back to my Word document. I'm actually going to add a little time here. I know it says 30, I'm going to make this 45. All right, I'm all done. I'm going to hit File and Save to Alfresco. 
it knows what document we are right here. It's about to check it back in. You can see who's checked it out and so forth if somebody else came to it. Now, I want to add some comments here because I did some work. So we reviewed the MSA, make sure we're good there, as well as project budget. So the next time I come in, I know that for this particular document, I did review the MSA as well as the project budget. I asked my add my comments. I click save. This is a major version because this one is going back to the client. And I click OK. Document is saved with all the changes, which is really good. So now we go back to Outlook, and here's our snow piece, our snow support project, I should say. I open that up. I look in working documents. There's that file that we just did. So let's send this back to our man Bob. Reply all. Here's our email. And what we'll do is we'll click on that document and we'll drag that into our email. And then we'll just say, hey Bob, please review my changes. I hit send and we're all done. We've now effectively gone through the entire process of getting an email in, taking a look at that document, reviewing other documents, okay, around that process, and emailing out. And again, never left the office, in, never left the office products, and we're able to do everything we need to do, staying in those office products. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Feel free to free out, reach out to us for a live demonstration or any questions. Thanks again.